So when I heard about what was happening here, um, this is probably, this is from before toilet training. Um, it was part of the research I was doing. Um, and I actually worked with somebody who's in Pittsburgh right now, Nathan Martin, if anybody knows. We both went through RPI. I, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, as a clandestine sticker project, um, a, precursor, a precursor to the movie, Toilet Training, Law and Order in the Bathroom, um, I did this other project. Uh, Oh, for many trans people, the protocol of assigning gender to bathrooms causes enormous anxiety and compromises physical safety. This is literally a slideshow from when I was a grad student 20 years ago. Um, so two unidentified biological agents stealthily changed three, 30 pre-existing restroom signs with stickers that advertise the biological definition of either a gyandromorph fly or a crepidula snail. In gyandromorph flies, distinct regions of the body are male and others are female. In crepidula, snail, crepidula snails possess the ability to genetically change their sex depending on their location in a pile. <laughs> yeah. This is what people are in. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> each sticker included a campus phone number in the hopes of soliciting responses. When calling the number, participants were greeted by a short recorded message. You have reached the offices of Gyandromorph and Crepitula. Please leave a message. <laughs> In two hours, we had 13 phone calls, 12 were hang-ups, and one was from public safety campus police. <laughs> they informed us that they had removed the signs and expected a call back immediately. We didn't call back. <laughs> With a lack of response, campus police soon arrived at spy headquarters. The officer was insistent upon solving the crime. He explained that people were apparently lined up outside of the bathrooms, fearing that crepidula snails were mounding in the bathroom, intersexing it up, perverting, <laughs> preventing anyone a facility to urinate or defecate. This was really interesting. Rather than responding to issues of gender assigned bathrooms, people assumed that the bathrooms had been infected by some bacteria or organisms, in other words, a biological agent. Um, furthermore, people were scared by the evil sounding message. The outgoing message was immediately changed. After careful inspection, no gyandromorph flies or crepidula snails were found in any of the bathrooms. After this, a brief meeting ensued. Threats of expulsion were thrown around, and thankfully a faculty member who accused, accused an undergraduate class of plotting the prank. Uh, the following semester, I was interested in understanding more clearly such a severe reaction. I lied and said that I was TAing for an undergraduate class and I want to take every precaution to make sure an incident like this didn't happen again. I requested the report from campus police suggesting that this would stress, I would stress to the class the serious nature of such actions. I was denied. I asked if, they, if he could visit the class to learn, to talk to them. No. I even offered to videotape a warning. Again, I was refused. But he offered to write me an email. These are some of the uh, excerpts from uh, the email that I received. Quote, is it, is it some psychotic copycat anthrax killer? Sure, those who know can laugh that concern, th those who know can laugh that concern off. But for a nervous public in 2002, it's just not funny. And one could easily become a victim of some psychotic's actions. Rensselaer has no immunity to being the landing place of violence or terrorism than any, any other place in the U.S. Theodore Kaczynski had his first mail bomb addressed to RPI. That's me in grad school uh, next to Theodore Kaczynski. Um, and then this would, uh, oh, sorry. And finally, their response to crepidula snails and gyandromorph flies, earring on the side of ultra caution, the response could have even gone further, evacuating the building, sealing the area, activating the county emergency services team, de decontamination personnel, dealing with a host of media inquiries, campus-wide paranoi paranoia, and so forth, end quote. That's what you got out of that? So I was like, well, that helped. That, for me, helped get a better understanding of the climate. And then, um, so what I'm handing out today are the 
stickers that were removed. <laughs> they, sh yeah, these guys. I think that's what you're getting. Just so you have a context as to why I'm handing out Gyandrum, like why, why am I doing that? Um, so, yeah, I'm a bigger fan of the crepidulous mound, but you know, whatever. So I thought I'd share that with you all. Just it's a, it seems like a, perhaps a, a similar scenario to what's happening here. Um, and in grad school, I was able to uh, make a project out of it and it did help to have faculty throw an undergrad throw their undergraduate class under the bus and say it was his fault yeah Igor Vamos thank you Igor so in case <laughs> poor Igor um well does that yeah good that, thing to end on that now gives you know some context <laughs> to these stickers uh, thank you all thanks everybody yeah